Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Pilgrims here with you again. On this one, we're going to be talking about it. I got a little bit of an online uh, prepper haul, mixing in with a little bit of my weekly uh, payday prep type deal. You know, I get into the habit of getting a little prep, even if it's like five to ten bucks a week, right? I get that mixed in with that. My online prep stuff was a little bit more than that. I was honestly almost 200 bucks for all my online stuff, and we're going to get into that in a second as well. But first, I want to say I'm sorry if I've been talking about doing this mushroom hunting for a couple weeks, y'all. It is going to begin done soon. Um, something keeps on happening, you know, God, uh, life, nature, anything, you know what I'm saying? So, but we'll get that done soon. Keep an eye out for that. But I'm going, I'm going to start with some of the stuff I got. First of all, I want to give a big thank you to Tribe, Prepper Tribe. He commented on one of my videos a couple weeks ago because he saw uh, in my bags, right? I had only one straw, but now I have these. This is the Sawyer Mini Straw, and if you have kids, like he said, if you have kids, then these straws will be a little bit easier for me to use. They're smaller, and this is a... Uh, now we got two, one for Mama Bag, one for Daddy Bag. This is about 33 bucks. That was a good deal. Um, it's definitely good. Faithful Prepper, she talks about these a lot. She uses one all the time, so... I believe that this is a good product. I'll uh, leave a link down below. I'm not sure if they had any more of the two packs on Amazon, but it's definitely worth it. If you're going to be getting one, might as well get two. So, got that out the way. That was good. Now, this, definitely good. That's probably my second favorite thing in the prepper haul. But this is what else we got right here. If uh, For my Latin American friends and family out there, I couldn't find really any uh, Spanish language survival books like the SAS Survival Guide or any of the prepper, you know, prepper medicine books or anything like that. But I was able to find this. This is by Tony Balda. He was there and never lived in his way when the stock market crashed and their shit at the fan down there and all that crazy shit that happened with them. So I believe he knows where he's coming from. It's called Prepper Survivalista. It was $11. I'll leave a link down for this down below. But, um, yeah, this teaches you how to you know start a fire build a shelter you know how to build tools you know how to look for certain things how to you know build traps when you're hunting it's, it's good and it's all in spanish too so like i said my wife she's from peru she speaks perfect english you know she reads it and writes it well but i imagine you know, if she's stressed out i think that you know being in spanish would be a little bit better for her so i'm putting that in her bug out bag take that kind of stuff into consideration too whenever you're like uh having to deal with stressful situations that's htf you know my wife's from another country so i'm going to try to make it as comfortable for her as possible by getting her this book that's in spanish now if you guys know where i can get any of the mainstream books that are in spanish please comment down below and tell me where to get it at um next on what i got online was this water bomb and this holds up to 100 gallons of water now if you watch all of your preppers videos you notice that you'll see one of these in all of his intros right this right here is thirty-four dollars. It was worth it. If you like, let's say you know your power's gonna be off for a few days. Like we had a real bad snow last year. I always talk about that. If we would have had this, we would have been a little bit more ready. But we didn't. Luckily, we had all of our milk jugs full of water still. But with this, you'd be good to go definitely for a couple of weeks, most definitely. And you're gonna want to get these uh, water purification tablets to go in conjunction with your water bob as well. And I got a. There's about a, there's a hundred of these, right? You would use these in here, and you could also use them inside of uh, the milk jugs as well, or inside of any water I would get. And that's another good little investment to have. Now, the last of my online preps, and probably the most expensive individual thing, was these two boxes of ammo. They were twenty-eight dollars a piece, and this all totaled up though to be forty dollars or to be eighty dollars when it was all said and done, shipping and handling. I uh, like cheaper than dirt a lot, but I, for ammo, I usually won't go there for ammo. But none of the places that like. None of the places I go to in person I had any ammo at all, so I had no choice but to go online. Um, it's still good, you know. It's it's good, you know, for what it is. You know, I have the extra ammo now, so. But eighty dollars for forty rounds—that's insane. Um, but if you guys know any other uh, good places I get that, feel free to comment below that as well. But that's all I could get though is eighty dollars, forty rounds for eighty dollars. But they had like. 150 rounds you can get for um like I think 140 bucks or something like that most likely 160 bucks for shipping and handling and all that but it's going to be hard to be ordering stuff like that online soon so get as much as you can while you can all right i i have i should not even gotten that ammo honestly because i have nothing to use it on i lost all of my weapons recently whenever i was traveling with them you know this it just safe it flew open and the weapons just went flying down the highway, and 
it sucked, you know, I probably should have stopped to get them, but I'm not going to stop on a major owner state, you know what I'm saying, so it's a loss, but I do have the extra ammo I can trade or something like that, you know, who knows. Um, and now on to the last thing is uh, I got this toothbrushes and I there at the Dollar Tree today. Like I said, get into your weekly prepping habits or you pick something up even though it's five to dollars a week. These are ten toothbrushes. I need it one toothbrush, but I went ahead and I got these. Now me and my wife, we each got an extra one. We each have one we can put in the bug out bags as well. So that's an extra thing for hygiene. Got this uh, pair of scissors that was one dollar. Might as well. I need an extra pair of scissors, so we have this extra pair of scissors. And we got some of these zip ties. That was a dollar forty-five. You know, those are obviously coming handy for all sorts of things. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be home building, shelter building, you know, this, that, and the other. So, um, still keep that in mind. You know, I, I, another thing we did was we saved some. We saved like almost all of our money that we got recently. And uh, I think in the long run, that would probably be the most wise prep decision that we made. And now, guys, if you managed to watch this whole video, uh, I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel. I want to ask you to hit that like button. Um, we're going to be doing all kinds of crazy stuff coming up soon. Like, it's going to just keep on getting better and better and better each video. We're trying to build this community up. Um, don't forget to share, like, uh, subscribe, all that. Once again, God bless you. This is Pilgrims signing out. Have a good one.